hello dear students welcome to axiomaticos this video is the part of the solution series for iit jam 2009 so we are here with this nine question number nine of your paper this is an analysis problem so let us firstly read this problem the set of all positive values of a for which the series so we have a series right here converges so this is our a the question is talking about so for which a your series converges your question is asking that okay so so we will proceed okay uh, let me just change my color for the pen okay now see what series do we have let us write it ex explicitly we have this series 1 by n minus 10 inverse of 1 by n to the power a n is equal to 1 to infinity okay so we have this uh, this series now we need to check for which a it will converges okay so right now i am going to use uh, right now i am going to use the power series okay the expansion of 10 inverse 1 by n if you remember this expansion then you are done with this question okay otherwise it will be little bit difficult to proceed with the solution are you getting my point you will not get any idea if uh, I, I, I cannot say that you will not get any idea but uh, if you remember this expansion of 10 inverse then you are done with this question okay so I should write uh, x over here 10 inverse x so if you know this expansion well then you can actually solve this problem this is what I am telling so to remember it's not difficult it's exactly same as the sign okay what is the difference the difference lies here that no factorial will be used are you getting my point or not so in sign there's a uh, factorial written here uh, it's seven and so on so this is the expansion that we need here so from here what you can conclude that summation u n will be Okay, so you will get 1 by n minus 1 by n plus 1 by 3 n cube uh, plus 1 by 5 n to the power 5 minus 1 by 7 n to the power 7 and so on. Right, you got. So 1 by n will be cancelled by with 1 by n. There is also a power to the 1, 1 by n to the power a so finally your summation un okay summation un looks like this n is equal to 1 to infinity if you will take 1 by n cube common out of it then you will find that you will get 1 by this so right here you will get 1 by 3 minus uh, plus sorry plus Okay, I think there should be a minus here. Okay. Minus and then plus. So it should be minus. So I should erase this thing. Okay. 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 n to the power 2. And uh, here you will you will get how uh, four okay you will get four one by seven n to the power four and so on so you end up with this series okay now what I can do I can use right now comparison test okay and that comparison test will help us to determine the convergence part okay so what do you know about the convergence uh, comparison test it's it's a very simple test if summation un is a positive term series then what you can actually do if you have summation un and summation vn okay you have two series okay both are positive term series and limit 
n goes to infinity u n by v n if this limit goes to some l which is a non zero number okay so if this limit is a non zero number okay both are positive term series okay and this number is a non zero number then summation u n and summation v n converges or diverges together so this is generally called limit form test okay limit comparison test actually so i have uh, just noted you the limit comparison test okay this is the limit comparison test right so i will use that i will choose my vn to be 1 by n to the power 3a okay so if i am choosing this vn then limit n goes to infinity un by vn will be what you will get this thing okay if i am choosing this vn then limit n goes to infinity u n by v n will be equal to 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 n square plus 1 by 7 n to the power 4 to the power 8 you got my point or not so finally you end up with if you place n in n is equal to infinity everything will be zero here you will get 1 by 3 to the power a so which is a non zero number that means summation 1 by n to the power 3a and summation un that is given to you in the question converges together right so everything depends on this series now now i will uh, consider p test okay p series test here what do you know about p series test it's very simple that okay that summation 1 by n to the power p okay this series converges only if p is greater than 1 okay if p is less than 1 then it will not converges less than equal to 1 you getting my point or not this series p series this is a p series and this converges if p is greater than 1 you need to determine the interval for which this series converges now this is also a p series so when it will converge it will converge when 3a is greater than 1 that means a should be greater than 1 by 3 you got my point or not so that means the interval okay should be 1 by 3 to infinity okay and it cannot be closed from this side because okay okay uh, i mistakenly wrote p greater than 1 okay so this p series converges if p is greater than 1 that's why i have uh, i am using here here strict inequality you are getting my point or not so this interval is a open interval it cannot be closed because if it is closed then you will get what summation 1 over n and you know that summation 1 over n is a divergent series so on this interval your series will converge so uh let us change the color c is incorrect b is incorrect a is also incorrect d is the correct option okay so this is how we can do the only thing that i have done is this thing uh what it is okay this part i am talking about this is the most important part for this question if you remember this series then you are done already done you can you know limit form test limit comparison test sorry and you know p series test so you can easily do that so if you remember this okay this is very important part of this question so thank you